the studio, so I get along as one of my favorite venues, so thanks once again. Uh, and uh, just uh, very, very briefly, very, very famous and, and very high level, um, uh, high level work to be done. And for instance, just uh, the world's largest uh, genetic database of Siberian uh, people is situated in, in Estonia. And just to give you an example that our expertise is uh, widely known and uh, uh, giving uh, ending uh, the history of Sweden being a non-military aligned country, which we have been for 200 years, is not something which you do lightly. But when you do it, you do it for a good reason. And that reason is Russia's war on Ukraine, which has shown exactly what the stakes are, what Russia is capable of doing, and how it thinks and acts about itself. And this is why Sweden, together with Finland, decided to apply for NATO membership. So NATO members, all of them, but, but all of them are democracies who rely on human rights and the rule of law, unlike Russia. So there's, of course, a fundamental difference. Now, of course, the, the purpose of the Arctic Council has, has not been really uh, on the security policy side. It's been more on environmental issues, regional issues. Um, well, people living in, you know, and that's how we need to relate to it, and that this is some sort of terra nullis. Whereas, in fact, you know, 10% of Norwegians live in the Arctic. So, you know, we have lots of people, lots of trade, lots of commercial, uh, you know, commerce, lots of activity, essentially, in the Arctic, and that's how we approach it. And as you said, and, and we're alluding to, um, you know, we, at the current moment, we're chairing the Arctic Council, and, of course, that has been, to a certain extent, that has been a challenge now with Russia's aggression in, in, in Ukraine, and, 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 of course, you know, we, we have had to change some of our modalities in order to... Certainly, partnering with others and doing their own thing, how worried are you about where that might go? You must, you're following that very closely, so talk, talk a bit about that, please. I think the uh, collapse of governance, I would love the picture that you portray to be true. I think that's still a legacy. I remember very well that after 2014, people expected that the Arctic Council would be the last Iceland isolated from the overall collapse in Russia's relationship with the West. And before the invasion, that was true. I think putting Russian membership on the ice in the Arctic Council has put a pause. But now, it's only a matter of time where... I speak about one worry. We have had a very, very strong cooperation and inter interactions. That we are aiming to become a part of a family that we believe it's a family of democratic values based on uh, rule of law and free market economies. And all these mechanisms that we are trying to build up and uh, create are based not only on dreams and uh, uh, failed realities, but also in ambitions to become better.